If you find you need alcohol or other substances to have a good time, it could become a problem. At Recovery Centers of America, they are teaching people how to have fun again without using. Joining us now is Nicole Rotino Lambert. She is the clinical director at Recovery Centers of America at Lighthouse in Mays Landing. It's true, so many people just can't have a good time without drinking or using other substances. What are you doing to teach them that they can still have fun without using? So we're reintroducing things that we wouldn't think that was fun while using. Sometimes people say, oh, I can't go bowling without drinking. I can't go to a barbecue without using. So we reintroduce that sober. We do fun barbecues here. We do poetry contests. We do karaoke. Um, we just recently had a tie-dye party, which people had a great time with because they haven't done it since they've maybe been 10 or ever. Um, and then we also send people out to the movies, to bowling, to escape rooms, to um, the zoo, and just re-experiencing what it's like to have fun without any substances in, in your system and to just feel for once. Sometimes it's hard um, in when you're using substances to feel anything, but to feel like the true genuine joy when you go out is, you know, priceless to have our clients Something experience Something new for them. And what yeah. are you hearing from your clients? Uh, amazing feedback. So we're getting both feedbacks of, I'm glad I went maybe to the zoo because when I was there, I was triggered. And now I have to learn that I have to really go back and be a little more serious sometimes in treatment. Sometimes when they go out, they're like, wow, I didn't realize just going to movies is triggering. But then we get people who are like, wow, I actually laughed and like laughed like for real and had fun for real without having to put something in my body to make me think I need to have fun. And that is a new experience for them and they like it. Yeah, it's been a new experience sometimes if you're using for say a decade to have that. That is amazing. So it is working for people and they're finding ways to have fun without using substances. Absolutely. And that's the first step to recovery. We're also having patients uh, introduce fun. So they'll bring in their own talents and say, let's do this and let's do a singing contest. Let's do a dance contest and really get other patients motivated. That is wonderful. Thanks so much for sharing that with us. Nicole Rotino Lambert, I'm Robin Stola and you're living well.